Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Blaine and welcome back to the Blue Collar Geek. Now, I know it's been a while since my last video on this channel, but I am going to start trying to make more videos on here. I uh, can't set any kind of schedule or timeline, anything like that, but I am going to start trying to make more videos on here. It's been a lot of times where I had a specific topic that I wanted to talk about or show you guys about or whatnot and just didn't have the time or um, the resources to actually put that video out. But like I said, I am going to start trying to make more videos on this channel. But today's video, I'm going to show you how to format an external hard drive in Mac OS X. So as you can see up here, we have our external hard drive. This is actually a Seagate GoFlex 500 gigabyte hard drive. Uh, it's a really great hard drive, so if any of you guys need an external hard drive, I really recommend the uh, GoFlex series from Seagate. I will leave a link to those uh, down below. But anyway, like I said, let's go ahead and open up Finder and we'll open up our Disk Utilities. Click on Applications and you'll see Disk Utilities down at the bottom. Uh, your folder isn't probably going to be black like mine. I have the carbon fiber uh, footprint uh, icon on my folder here. But you'll see Utilities down at the bottom at your Applications or somewhere in your Applications window. Go ahead and open up Utilities and you'll see Disk Utilities or Disk Utility. Open up that. Now over here on the left hand side you can see our uh, system hard drive which is our Mac HD or Mac hard drive. It's the 750 gig that I just put in not too long ago. That's also a Seagate hard drive as well as a matter of fact. I think it is. <laughs> I'm not even sure. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a Seagate. So you can see we have the external hard drive over here. This is the 500 gigabyte Seagate and you don't want to you don't want to edit or do, you don't want to format this one uh, the one on the bottom you want to format the one on the top this is actually the hard drive itself so the way I always do this um, and of course you can do first aid on your hard drive even on your system hard drive that's a good uh, point that I'll throw out to you if you ever want to do system maintenance on your hard drive kinda like disk defragging on a Windows computer all you want to do is just click on your hard drive at the top it should be the one that's on the uh, far on the left hand side farthest to the top and verify your disk permissions and repair the disk is really easy to do uh, it takes a little while kinda like dusty fragging but it actually does speed up the performance of your computer and kinda smooths things out a bit so let's go ahead and click on the external hard drive like I was saying the way that I always do this the way that I always format my hard drives I'll click on partition or erase you can do it either way uh, it's going to give you the options to format it in different ways and if you're running Mac OS X you always want to choose the Mac OS X extended journaled format. You can name it what you like. We'll just go ahead and name it Seagate and uh, if you just want to erase everything just go ahead and click erase confirm it and it's going to go ahead and do the job for you. So as you can see it's doing its thing and uh, for any of you guys who haven't already subscribed to my channel um, like I said I'm gonna start trying to make more videos on here so go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already done so alright we can see it's already finished and that's using the erase tab now you can partition your hard drive into different partitions all the way up to I think 16 partitions here and uh, I really don't recommend this but if you did want to do it say you wanted to partition into four partitions and you wanted to put like say pictures on one partition your video files on one partition your documents on one partition and so forth you could partition it like that but like I said I really don't recommend that um, usually one partition is what you want to do unless of course you are partitioning it for um, shoot to put it to install windows into boot camp and boot camp your uh, boot camp assistant is going to do that for you and i might actually cover that in a separate video so like i said using the partition chat tab you can partition your hard drive name it what you like we'll name it seagate again or let's just mess up the spell in there seagate one format it into the mac os 10 extended journal of course again and go ahead and hit apply. Now you can add different options in here. Um, I don't really know what all these exactly do, but you can read what they do here. Apple partition map. I always just use the GUID partition. 
and uh, go from there. Oh, and I, I, I would like to point out in the erase, um, let's yeah, let's switch. In the erase tab, if you use that, you actually have a bunch of security options. You can do like a 35 pass erase, uh, seven pass erase, which is what the U.S. Department of Defense uses. I really don't recommend these unless you have like some really really valuable information on your hard drive and you're selling it or something like that because uh, this takes forever I try to do these seven pass one time and just with like a hundred gigs on there it was gonna take me like 30 hours or something it was ridiculous so I really don't recommend that like I said unless you have some very very critical data on there that you don't want anybody looking at ever again so most of the time just use these zero out data or just cancel that and leave it as the uh, default so anyway guys I hope that helps you out hope you enjoyed this video if you did leave me a comment down below I will see all of you guys soon and take care